there are only 17 da Vinci oils in existence, we were very fortunate in obtaining this masterpiece, The Sorrowing Angel, on a special loan. The Sorrowing Angel, an early work of Leonardo's, probably dating back to the year 1483, according to records which we now have in existence, this was they Leonardo's... They don't know what true art is. These artists... They have been dead for years, and now, now their paintings are worth a fortune. Madam, a living artist, a true genius can starve. I tell you the way it is. Oh, yes, yes. you think of Picasso, oh, and Chico, and Renoir, yes. and Gauguin. Do you? Oh, yes. This painting, along with three others, now in the National Gallery in London, have been documented as coming from the chapel. Although the sorrowing angel is an early work of Leonardo, Leonardo, along with two Milanese artists, was commissioned to produce pictures to be inserted into an altarpiece in the chapel of the Immaculate Conception. The scarcity of Leonardo's painting, together with the eagerness of the collector of all ages, has helped to think that he genuine in the form. This means, however, that the bird that was commissioned by the church of San Francesco Grande at Milan. As you might well imagine, we are indeed pleased that rare model. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That's the end of this lecture. Another in one hour. Guard? They've been stolen. The picture. They've been stolen. <laughs> I think a $500,000 original Da Vinci painting goes with my image. Anything stolen looks good on you, Al. But that painting's going to South America as bait. Bait? Who's the fish? A shark. Senor Francisco Arascan. Arascan. Dictator in exile. I remember he fled his country with nothing more than $100 million in a Swiss bank account and one of the world's great art collections. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Senor Arascan would like to return home. So he's having a little weekend get-together with some old political friends. A party. That's nice. A hunting party. Aimed at the democratic government that ousted him. As a friendly neutral power, we've been asked by some of his former neighbors to investigate. We want to know exactly what plans are going to be made at that meeting. Here we are. Here it is, sir. I let go, Al. Got it. Isn't she beautiful? Yeah, she sure is. That'll do, Miss Agnew. Yes, sir. The canvas is genuine 16th century, except woven into a piece of it here is a miniaturized microphonic pickup. I see. So that's why you want me to recruit a first-class art forger. Exactly. Well, he's standing by. He can copy a Da Vinci so that it'll pass any examination. It had better. You sell him the genuine Da Vinci, and then switch in the fake. Thank <laughs> you. 
Necesitan su ayuda. ¿eh? Yo, 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 yo estoy aquí. Gracias, amigo. ¿eh? Gracias. Pronto. ¿eh? Uh, tell Senor Eris Gunn there's no danger. I just came to deliver his paper. <laughs> Interested, Senor Eris Gunn? Now, why should I be interested in a stolen Da Vinci? Well, you collect art. I steal art. Specifically, the Da Vinci. My name is Alexander Monday. Oh, yes. Yes, Mr. Mundy, a very daring theft. Very. Not as daring as coming here to see me, though. You know, I uh, might simply just call the police. And give up the hope of owning a Leonardo da Vinci? A priceless masterpiece? <laughs> Dile a la señorita que nos espera en la biblioteca. Sí, excelente. Now, uh, Mr. Mundy, assuming that I were uh, so... Uh, I'm principal. Aren't you concerned that I might try to extort a masterpiece from you? Senor Arascan, I'm not carrying the painting on me. If I don't check in by this afternoon, the Da Vinci leaves the country. I see. Very thorough. I assume you have positive proof that you actually have the painting. Not just for myself. No, you'll have a rather severe critic that you have to satisfy. Miss Sanders, I have asked her to join us in the library. Out of the puerta. Oh, Janet. Janet Sanders. My resident curator and encyclopedia of art. Janet, this is Mr. Alexander Mundy. My pleasure. How'd you do? Mr. Mundy offers to sell me Da Vinci's Sorrowing Angel. <laughs> but that's ridiculous. It, it's in the United States. It was up until a few days ago when I stole it. You. Who is he? Well, either a very remarkable thief or a... a very remarkable liar. I want you to determine which. <laughs> this might help. Is this a piece of the canvas? Cut off of one of the sides. Well, it's certainly a genuine canvas of the period. It's the right age. 
But old canvas doesn't mean a thing. Do you have any more evidence? The Da Vinci. Exactly how did you accomplish this daring theft, Mr. Mundy? Now, that's my profession. Yours is to prove that it's authentic. If you're competent. I'm thoroughly qualified, I assure you. If you have the Da Vinci, let me see it. Uh, Janet, uh, it is possible, you know. Bring it here to me. You'll have it by day after tomorrow. Good. When you bring it, we'll discuss it further, huh? I'll look forward to your inspection, Miss Saunders. Acompaño la puerta. Señora Dacan, Mr. Mundy. Are you going to notify the authorities? Not until he delivers a painting. Johnny. Uh, uh, years it's been, old friend, since I've laid eyes on you. Oh, how are you? Who is she? Who? Oh, God. Well, you see, old chum, when I got your instructions, I come here directly and began establishing, as you suggested, a local identity. As a drunken, lecherous, untrustworthy artist, huh? Right. I've uh, been painting the young lady's portrait to keep things convincing. That'll be all for today, lovely. That'll be all. I'll call you again when it's time for our next sitting. When will the picture be ready? Soon, love, soon. Bye-bye, Johnny. Bye-bye. What do you call it? The Recline in Venus. A little too nude for my taste. Ah, uh, she's not an easy one to capture. You sure nobody recognized you? Ah, uh, nobody knows me, Al. I'm famous for being unknown. I work hands in museums. I sell it by the golden ounce, a testament to my genius. So they use other names. Van Gogh, Tintoretto, Rubens, Picasso, Michelangelo. You keep good company, Johnny. But I've got somebody just as big. The National Museum theft. That's my profession. Yours is making a perfect copy for $5,000. You know, I'd give ten times the money if I could create that. But I can't. I'm cursed with hand and eye and skill and nothing more. No spark. Copy the best of them. And now, Da Vinci. Ja will be worth at least ten thousand now. Five is all there is, Johnny. All right, I'll give it to you for seventy-five hundred. Five. 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 Six and a quarter. Five, Johnny. Five. It's the. We we'll need an authentic canvas of the time. Oh, uh, it's 
a pleasure doing work with you. You're a rotten human being, Johnny. But you're a genius. The original looks just like the copy. Uh, thank you, Al. Now, we'll just slip this into the coat. Into the coat. Mm -hmm. Oh, very clever. Does that false lining never come apart? If it did, it'd be embarrassing. Thank you. Didn't we uh, agree on 10,000 out? Five. Five, oh, thank you. Count it. I trust you, Al. You're a top thief. You never cheat a man on small transactions. Hello, lovelies. Ah. We're gonna have us a time. But not here. One way, first class, back to London. Have a good trip. Oh, you want me away and gone, do you? Inside of an hour, Johnny. Goodbye. Al, is that fair? I want to know uh, how much you're getting on this job and, and to whom you're selling my masterpiece. You know all you're going to know, Johnny. Ah, uh, you're being harsh with me, Al Mundy. I'm not so sure I want to leave. I like it here. It's a lovely lotus land. And now, there's money to be made. Not if this affair blows up and you're involved in it. In this lovely lotus land, Johnny, they beat your kidneys in first and they send you out in the jungle to work off your sentence. Your job is finished. I'm just beginning. Come All on. right, old friend. I'll be gone, but my heart will be with you. Take care of yourself. Goodbye, Johnny. Do you have the painting with you? Yes, I do. I hope it is the sorrowing angel. It's magnificent, isn't it? Oh, yes. I wonder who the model was. A very beautiful lady named Ginevra Benci. Leonardo loved her. Oh, yes, of course. I'd forgotten. How did you know? Art is my business, too. Thievery. All right, Janet. Go ahead and test it, will you? Anything else I can do for you, Mr. Mundy? I'd like to witness the procedure. Oh? Well, uh, well of course you certainly may. How long will it take, Janet? Uh, I should know by tonight. Excellent. Go ahead.
I don't want to alarm you, but I think we're being followed. You'll be watched as long as you're here. You don't have to worry. I only steal things. I never attack girls. Unless, of course, they enter a formal request. I'll try and restrain myself, Mr. Mundy. If you can call me a thief, you can call me Al. Well, that's what you are, aren't you, a thief? And this, what's this to you? It's just loot, money. No, no, no. It was a challenge at first. Now it's come alive for me. That's what makes it worth stealing with having for me and Arascan. Don't judge Senor Arascan by yourself. Didn't you see the way he looked at it? Like one of Leonardo's Florentine princes sacking a city. His to dispose of or keep. I, I don't believe that. Then tell him it's a fake and watch him. Well, I may have to do that after the test. Mr. Mundy? To steal art, one has to know art. We don't normally make a cash refund. But in a case of a personal tragedy such as yours, well, we're glad to make the exception. Oh, thank you. You're wonderful people. Well, here's your refund. Wonderful people. There's no doubt about it. And as soon as my maternal grandmother is recovered from her struggle with smallpox, I'll be fine with you. I thought you said it was malaria. Oh, ho, ho, ho. did I? Well, you see, that's the tragedy of it. We don't know for sure. Now, here's your coffee. Oh, lovely. Thanks. Quite a puzzle. Oh, really? Yes, you're uh, intelligent, educated. Quite charming, really. Well, thank you. I'm a paragon of everything but virtue. <laughs> as long as we're examining puzzles, tell me, Janet Saunders, how did a nice girl like you get involved in a sordid profession like this? Art? Oh. Well, there's the can do. Those that can't teach, catalogue, curate. Oh, I had ambitions to be an artist, but uh, I've settled for being a handmaiden to the arts. For Senor Arascan, a dictator so corrupt he was tossed out of his own country? Senor Arascan has one of the world's great private collections. It's quite an honor to be in charge of it. True. I stand in admiration of it. I stole a painting. He looted an entire nation. I don't get involved in political questions. That's probably why he hired you. I happen to be very good at my job. Competing with men and winning, but a little frightened of competing with women, so you grabbed this chance to hide out. <laughs> really, Al, that old cliché? What, I'm not a swinger, so I must be a spinster? Does it really sound that ridiculous? Yes. Are you finished? Almost.
wish you wouldn't stare at me. Why not? I enjoy it. I'm through. Do you want to hear my opinion before I call Senny Aris gone? I'm a thief, but you, you are a liar. Why did you do that? Well, if you have to ask, I must have done it wrong. No, I mean, what were you trying to prove? Common humanity. Do you want to slap me? No. Yes. Oh. I'm sorry. No, you're not. You're frightened. <laughs> It's a fake. No, it's quite genuine. What is it? On the table. You're positive? Yes. Canvas and paint are the right age. The technique is correct. But most important, it has the scale, the, the genius of da Vinci. No, it's real. And you intend to keep it, don't you? Oh, yes. Unique, perfect, and mine. But you have no right. I have every right, because I will own it. You see, in, in my country, I had prestige, power. Now, here in exile, I, I must fight for them. Now, culture is a weapon, a very powerful weapon. So I buy it. I buy it and wave it under those sensitive international nostrils. This is beyond value. Name your price, Mr. Mundy. No bargaining. One hundred thousand dollars. One hundred thousand American dollars. Very well, I accept. Impressed, Janet? It's wrong. Morality? Oh, no. It's a fact. It belongs to me. Oh, it will when I get paid. I'll just keep it in my hands until I get my money. Being a cautious man, Senor Erescan. <laughs> yes. La maleta en la mesa. May I? May I? You could have asked for more, you know. Now take your money and leave. They're all $10,000 packs. Take $100,000. you can go with my guarantee of safety I I have what I want don't we all Senora Rascan show him to the door you told me you'd notify the authorities there's no need to the painting is genuine
I don't understand. I've let you steal a genuine, irreplaceable Da Vinci. I financed your drunken artist friend. I've given you every kind of help you possibly could have needed, and look what you've done. Look what happens. Do you think I needed a master thief to give away that masterpiece? Thanks to you, Aras Khan has the real Da Vinci. And because of that, we won't be able to bug his meeting tomorrow night. Tell me, tell me one more thing. How am I to explain to my superiors how I've managed to turn a half a million dollar painting into one hundred thousand dollars? You can't win them all, Noah. <laughs> of sight. Charming. All you have to do is to get over the walls, get past the guards and the dogs, switch the paintings, do it before the meeting. The meeting's tonight.
Keep your hands off me, Poncho, you tempting providence. Announcing Jonathan of Hell. Where are you keeping him? Where is he? I'm here to see my good personal friend, Senor Raskan. So you are a personal friend of Raskan, eh? Have I not been telling it to half the world? Just show me to him. I am a Ruskan. Oh, to be sure. And it's good comrades we're going to be because we have something very special in common, a most magnificent work of art. New to your collection. Could we uh, speak in private, friend? I don't think that's necessary. No, 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 not for me. But for you, it might be wise. Perdóname, amigos, eh? Janet, come with me. Follow me. Solos. Very well. Who are you and what do you want? Uh, the name's O'Farrell, and I'm here to dicker a bit of business with you. To blackmail, eh? Oh, Faith, no. I'm simply here to apply for a small grant, a wee bit of money to help me continue to study art. Get rid of him. You're not going to throw me out. If I go straight to the police, and I'd be singing like the bard of old on how you've been buying up stolen goods from an artist friend of mine, Mr. Alexander Mundy. No, I'm not going to throw you out. Uh, Over a penitent? I was lying. I can't go to the police. Not over that. It's a fake. It's not real. What did you say? It's a fake. What do you mean it's a fake? It's a fake. I swear, it's a fake. Fake? Well, show it to me. It's not real. The truth is, Mr. Raskin, the painting's a fake. It's a beautiful, lovely, expensive fake. I know it for a truth because I painted it myself. I didn't prove I can point you out my mark. Tiny, but there in the corner, a bit of green paint, the lines across the garment. <coughs> and you, now this, this lamp of stupidity, he painted it, but you guaranteed it. With your life, you guaranteed it for all money. How much money did they offer you? 
But that isn't the painting that I guaranteed. It didn't have any green marks in the corner. He must have switched it. How much money? Where is Mundi? I don't know. Where is he? I don't know. Al must have got clear. I may be able to do something to refresh your memory. Take him to the workshop. And take her too. And Janet, I will keep this painting until I get the original. And I will get the original. Take him out. You about the law. Tell Santiago and the others that I'm ready for the meeting. Sit down. Easy, Pancho. Ah. Very fizzy. I've always had a moment for a lovely lady. Oh, come in, gentlemen. Come in, please. Be seated. Buenos dias. Sit down, please. Adelante. Santiago, como te va? Listen. We're going to go over all the details very carefully, eh? Francisco. Yeah? You're amazing. A Da Vinci, a genio Da Vinci. Yes, very fortunate acquisition. Sit down, Santiago, sit down. Gentlemen, we are not here to discuss art. We are here to discuss public health. The eradication of a very curious disease called social democracy. Now, I'll be very blunt. I'm going to take our country back. That, of course, will take force. A counter-revolution is that simple. What are the details? Santiago? What about your ships? The commanders of two ships are loyal, Francisco. Good. Herrera has spread quite a bit of money among the Air Force, so they are with us. Now, gentlemen, please come over here. I want to show you on the map the exact place of every operation that is going to take place. Now, Santiago, your ships. My ships will be here, and they will be coming around this point right here. Perfect. Now, Gomez, your Air Force. We'll be taking off from this base at 5 o'clock in the morning. Sharp, you'll be flying over the city at 5.13. I want you to destroy every center of communication there is. Lake Capasa. I'm not forgetting, old buddy. You sold me to Ariscan on the cheap. Oh, I wasn't after you, Al. Only a bit of money. Well, that bit of money, Johnny, is going to be the death of you. Al. Oh. Hey, you're... You're not going to leave me, are you? You deserve it. But who would I find to replace you? <laughs> ah, you have a sour sense of humor, Al Mundy, but I... Grant, you are 
a handyman in a sticky place. Come on, let's get out of here. You got the Da Vinci? Yes, I've got it. Let's go, quickly. Can you get some coats? Marvelous, buddy. Good night. Once we have the capital, the whole country will be ours. Then I shall return and take over. Immediately after, I last recognition from the United States and promise democratic elections within the year. They like that. <laughs> Yeah. That's it. On behalf of the National Gallery, I wish to thank our law enforcement agencies for their successful and heroic efforts, which resulted in the return of one of the world's truly immortal masterpieces. It's the first time I've ever been called a law enforcement agency. Ah, uh, Dr. Warren has offered me a very important position here at the gallery. A lucky Dr. Warren. And I've spoken to him about a, a job for you. An honest job. An honest job? Doing what? Working with me. After all, you know a great deal about art. We could work together. I'll, um... Try to work out my time. Good. There's a new Picasso exhibit coming in, and we'll be working on the display. Uh, Picasso. That could be very rewarding. Believe me, there's nothing I'd like more in this world, but I have to work it out with my business partners. I thought you said you worked alone. I'd like to. I'll do my best. You take care of Picasso. And I'll come back and see you both.